Oh, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome along to our Cool FM Facebook live stream. It is week 13 of Slim for the Summer with me, Stuart Robinson. I hope we find you in good form. A beautiful Saturday afternoon outside. So we're going to try to keep it short and concise today so we can get into that summer sunshine. Before we get into the live week 13 weigh-ins, uh, Neil Anderson from Jimco is here, our PT. Uh, so I've been down a little bit with you, Neil, as we were talking about on the radio show. I'm just knackered now at this point. I, I'm arriving down with you and I'm not sure if I'm any good or not. You've certainly been putting the effort in when you get there, but there's no doubt, uh, and I can tell, it's it's a bit of getting you warmed up and getting the body going because you are shattered. It, it's a long week for you. You're very busy, and a lot of people find themselves in that position, but it's just biting a bullet and getting in there. Okay, well, listen, let's get straight into the weigh-ins. We're going to kick off with my week 13 weigh-in. Uh, remember, I got a good week last week. I was down five pounds. That took me down to 16.10. That's just Obviously, if you've been following this since the start, one pound shy of hitting the three stone marker. So we're looking for one pound or more today on the way in to hit the three stone off since we kicked this off back in January. So here goes. Okay, so uh, there it is, one pound off, which takes me to 69. A little bit bittersweet because, uh, as I said earlier, Neil, I think I've maybe had a more uh, strenuous week to, that warrants the one pound. It still gets me to sort of psychologically that three stone marker, uh, which is good, but would have really liked more than a pound. That's now very too often. I'm now just getting one pound off a week. Yeah, I think it is definitely, it, it's that false sense of security sometimes when you do a lot more, you kind of assume everything's going to be plain sailing, but it then comes back to the food and things as well. Might might have had some wee subtle overindulgences just simply on a kind of subconscious reward, which we sometimes do. You know, there's uh, so many people here, They they and, and I know you don't eat terribly, you are very strict, but it's possibly even just a bit of portion control there, but as so many people come into the gym and then they're straight over to whatever coffee shop to have a wee bun and a, and a, and a, and a oh well we earned it but the reality is it, it doesn't quite unfortunately work like that yeah well i think i can see that i certainly need to uh, refocus on the on the food again i th think i did everything i could in terms of fit all the possible hours available to me down into the exercise it just goes to show you some weeks again you think you've had a decent week and it doesn't translate into the scale so one pound off it does make mean that i hit the three stone off marker so happy with that okay Thank you. Right, let's get into the weigh-ins. Of course, there's Team Stewart versus Team Deputy Dave. He won last week in a complete knockout punch. Here's the Team Deputy Dave over here. Um, I can't believe they actually won, so we went out last. I just, I was shocked. I just thought he, uh, just given his, his recent form, but no, they, they, they pulled off a surprise last week. So it's revenge this week, guys. Even with my, even with my miserable one pound, it is revenge because I'm relying on this lot to... You've lost 16 stone already because Dave's not here. Yeah, that's true, yes. A big, ugly 16 stone, yes, he's not here today. Uh, so we're going to get straight into the weigh-ins. If you're watching our Facebook Live video today, feel free to comment, like, and share um, our picture, our, our video. We'll get to some of your comments as we go through our Facebook Live video. Right, Louise is up first for Team Deputy Dave. Hello, Louise. 16 stone four a week ago. You were the biggest loser on Team Deputy Dave. You basically, you won it for them last week. Well... Okay. <laughs> you did. Take it. Take it. Uh, but what about the last seven days? Yeah, it's not been too bad. Um, I'm concentrating on my food the past couple of weeks. Um, obviously, I was under eating. So, um, yeah, I've been really trying so hard. I have been walking, obviously, with my wee one in the pram and doing weights at home. But I am trying to concentrate on the food, and then I'll get back to the gym, and Neil's going to help. Oh, brilliant. Okay, nice one. Well, listen, lots of luck today. Uh, let's see how Louise has got on. So a week ago, just a reminder, on the way in, you were 16.4. How have you done today? And here it comes, Louise. You today are, oh, you're 15.3. You've lost another five pounds. 
Brilliant. Were you expecting that? No, mm, I've done really well um, because of last week. Um, I thought maybe I could do okay this week. So yeah, I'm, I'm half 10 point in two weeks. So yeah. yeah. I mean, that's incredible. I think that's probably more than a lot of us in the last two weeks. I am a little bit worried. Uh, Team Stewart is very worried on this. Uh, that's phenomenal. And I, again, you know, whatever it is you're doing, um, you've kind of found something that's working for you. So keep doing it. Yeah, I'm eating more. And I know that sounds really silly, but that's what I'm doing. I'm actually eating more. So, um, yes, it's Team Dave. Okay, Team Dave's off to a good start with five pounds. Christopher is going to come up next for Team Dave. Come this way, Christopher. Uh, you haven't been here for a week or two, so what have you been up to? Yeah, so I haven't been here. It was three Saturdays ago I was last here, and you know, I was talking to Neil downstairs. I've been traveling back and forth to London with work quite a bit. And it's just been shocking, you know, getting up at half three, four in the morning, not getting home until 10 o'clock at night squeezing in an extra couple of meals a day and it's just been really taking its toll getting home not having any time or energy for any exercise or gym work um so weighed myself last sunday and put on six pound wow six pounds wow six pound in two weeks yeah so <laughs> uh, someone says that's the wine that's the wine yeah yeah um, it'll do that yeah so this this week i've tried to pull it back um, i've joined an outdoor boot camp um, and started that on Tuesday, and it's just been an agony for a couple of days after it. Um, so it's working, um, and then I'm starting a 21-day shred come Monday. Okay, so you're pushing for the finish line now. You're determined, even despite the setback, that you've still got what it takes to do this, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's all about trying to make the right meal choice when I'm away. I mean, I was having some porridge pots in the morning before I was going to London, and looking at it the other week, it was like 600 calories in a porridge pot. Yeah, I know. And you sometimes you think you're being good, don't you? And then you actually look at it and you haven't been that good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just horrible. Okay, let's uh, see how you've got on today anyway. Uh, is he going to pull it back? This is Christopher. So the last time you weighed in, you were 15.4. That sound right? Okay. 15.4. Today you are, okay, so you're 15.6. You put on two pounds. So... How are you feeling with that? That's probably, given the fact that a week ago you said you'd put on six pounds, so you've lost four if you look at it that way. Yeah, it's a get out of jail free card. I know I'm going to come back next week with that off and some more. Brilliant. Good man. Good attitude. Okay. Uh, well done to you. Okay, so two pounds on for Chris for Team Deputy Dave, but uh, again, uh, maybe a little bit of a win for you given how much you had put on when you were, uh, when you were off. Okay, so Sarah's up next then. Uh, next Team Deputy Dave contestant. Um, how are you feeling, Sarah? Great. Um, had a good week. Refocused. I've been spinning, walking the dogs, so hopefully maybe a loss this week. You had a couple of stagnant weeks there, didn't you, that sort of disappointed you a bit, yeah? Yes, I think uh, I sort of got a bit complacent and I'd started to let things slip into the diet that I didn't even realise that I was letting slip in. So um, I cut those out this week, so hopefully it'll make a difference. And halfway into this now, do you have a finish weight in mind? I'm sure a lot of us, I mean, we haven't, we haven't talked much about it because maybe a little bit too early, but do you have a, a finish weight in mind? Ten and a half stone. Ten and a half stone, okay. Well, listen, you're well on your way. A week ago, you were down to 11.7. So what's that, another 11 pounds to go? Yeah, 11 pounds to go. Uh, let's find out if you're any closer today. Okay, fingers crossed for you. For Team Deputy Dave, here's Sarah from Dremore. She was 11.7 on her last way in disappointing week because you're up just a bit a little bit stagnant uh, but today has she pulled it back she has you've lost two pounds how are you with that that's great that's brilliant that's um it was what i thought it was and what neil had said that maybe just because you don't have so much to lose and you think you're gonna be there and the clothes are getting too big that you're thinking i can live a wee bit more but no that was good yeah, very good. Uh, and again, another good result for Team Deputy Dave. So uh, two pounds off. Well done. And that's you down to your lowest again, isn't it, Sarah? That's you now. Okay. So 11.5. Uh, so three for Team Deputy Dave there, Neil. How are they doing? Brilliant. Uh, obviously, Christopher had gained a little bit of weight, but relative to the previous week, it actually come down over the week. Uh, and he'd been chatting to me, like you said, downstairs about sort of being on the, on the road a lot of the time, lack of sleep, and these sort of things all really do matter. Uh, lack of sleep's been shown for a number of reasons to be really um, work against weight loss uh, in terms of overeating the next day because the body sort of tends to because the, uh, the way the stomach sort of uh, responds to that lack of sleep. Uh, and then obviously 
he's then sort of realizing, well, if that's going to be the case and he's going to continue the travel and so on, he needs to just figure out a way that it works with the rest of his, his lifestyle change. Uh, as for Bruna, it's amazing. You know, she, we, we established a few... Or Louise. Or sorry, sorry, Louise. <laughs> sorry, brother. <laughs> Uh, that's me and my names. Louise, sorry, he's done so well. And Bruno's doing great as well, too. But uh, Louise, Louise has done really well, who obviously for a number of weeks ago had actually established the fact she really under it, and things had just remained completely uh, still for a number of weeks. And then to actually then start eating a little bit more, because when the body's in absolute starvation, it really does slow down to a snail's pace and it's not very efficient burning anything burning fat it can actually go catabolic and muscle and things so um yeah that that eating a little bit more and eat more of the right things you know high volume lower calorie foods uh, the body then really starts to uh, speed up m metabolically and so on again so it's going very well you know everyone's everyone's doing great okay good start for team deputy dave then some of your messages coming on facebook julie laverty well done uh, she says to everybody thanks for your message julie uh sharon adair shouting in good to hear from you uh, david uh, mcgee says keep up the good work everyone i just weighed in today and i lost four and a half pound this week it takes me to one stone seven off that's a stone and a half in four weeks incredible job david well done i'm glad slim for the summer is inspiring you to change your life as well uh oh, Rushin, thank you for shouting in as well uh wishing all our contestants all our slimmers good luck today continue to leave your messages on our facebook live feed we'll get to some more of those very shortly uh, and continue to like and share our week 13 slim for the summer weigh-ins okay for team deputy dave next it's elaine who has been a bit of a star performer as well on this team. Very consistent over recent weeks, Elaine, with two pounds off pretty much every week. Uh, you were down to 13.9 then a week ago, yeah? Yes, I was. What are you hoping for today? Because at some point, again, the level of your consistency has been to the, to the, the effect that uh, are you expecting this to slow down? Are you thinking that it's slowed down? I hope it doesn't slow down. But you've been busting this every single week. Have you done just as much in the last seven days to get the scales moving further south? Yes, I purchased a Fitbit and I've been challenging people for steps in that during the day. So, Keeping it nice and competitive then. All right, great job. Okay, let's find out how you are today. So a week ago, Elaine was 13.9 on Slim for the summer. Let's find out how you've got on today. For Team Deputy Dave. Okay, you're 139 still, so you've held steady this week. You seem surprised by that. Yes, I am. Disappointed? Slightly, yep. I mean, I suppose the, the good thing is you've held, you've had the one week where you've held. You maybe buy yourself a wee bit of buffer now, as I have in, in weeks where I haven't been entirely happy to push back into it now. Um, and it is hard to take sometimes when you see that, isn't it, that you've, done your all and you haven't got what you wanted out of it it is a wee bit annoying but it'll be there next week all right listen good stuff it will be there next week absolutely okay so no loss for elaine this week she's been doing so well on this and i was just what we were talking about there unfortunately it's maybe just um held static for the week stuart is up next stuart ritchie of belfast the final member of team deputy dave to weigh in he's looking pretty confident i have to say as he as he struts over here how you feeling uh, no, I'm not confident at all. As I say, I was on the, the heart monitor and all this week. I've overdone it, so uh, I pushed yourself too too far. Then, yeah, just the exercise has just ramped up over the last couple of weeks, and I just just overdone it. Not feeling it? No, not. I, I, I say the eating's been good. I just, I just, I, I don't honestly know. Okay, do you think you've lost any weight at all? My skills say that I have, but obviously your skills are. Yep, they're the ones. They're the they're very unkind. They can be. Don't I know it? Don't I know it? Right. Well, a reminder that just a week ago you were seventeen nine. You've lost the guts of two and a half stones since January. You've done well, and you've transformed your transformed your entire body shape. So I mean that in itself is a brilliant achievement. Let's see if we can push it on a bit today. Here's your live results on week thirteen. Stuart Ritchie of Belfast. So seventeen nine a week ago today. You're coming in at 17.5. You lost four pounds. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. Is that kinder than your own skills? Uh, no, my skills are a bit kinder. Right, well, we need to get your skills in here from next week then. Can we all agree on that, yeah? I agree, yes. I'll bring them in. But you're taking that four pounds. You're happy with that. Okay. You lost uh, over 13.5% of your body weight so far. Um, that's incredible. You think about it that way. 
Yeah, there's a guy in work, and he, he would sort of set out what I've lost in, in bits of metal and stuff, and it's colossal, you know, just to, just to sort of grasp that, you know, that sheer weight. Yeah, and it's frightening when you do see it laid out like that, that you're carrying that, when you're carrying extra weight, you're carrying that on your body everywhere, and uh, it's little wonder you feel crap when you're overweight. Absolutely, yeah, and just, just sort of shedding that, that sort of, I mean, two, just over two and a half stone now, it's, 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 it's making a difference to my lifestyle. Well done. We'll see you back next week. Good man. Okay, so that's Team Deputy Dave. Uh, completed way in. So uh, total weight loss for Team Deputy Dave um, was nine pounds in total. Uh, five members of the team weighing in. And the average then loss for Team Deputy Dave against last week's results are as follows. 1.8% loss this week. That's your score. Okay, so well done. 1.8%. That's what my team now have to try to beat. Um, so obviously, uh, we're wishing them lots of luck. So I've already weighed in with one pound off. Uh, let's take Maureen next then to come on up. We're just mixing up a little bit today. Hello, Maureen. How's life? Life is good. I got seven hoodies down to two this week. Okay, so that's a good result for you, yeah. Um, food has been excellent. As we've been on the, the feeds with us, they've seen literally everything I've ate. My calories is 1,390, and unless eating air, I can't go any lower. Yeah, okay, so you've done all you can then. Yes. yes. Right, let's just find out how you've done today for my team, uh, so no pressure there. Uh, first up, you were at 12.5 a week ago. Uh, let's see how you've done today. Good luck to you. So another week you're holding at 12.5. So disappointed, yeah. scundered. I'm scundered. What, what did you expect? So you expected something clearly. Two at least. Two. I know, I know. Well, listen, join the club. If you want to talk about it, I'll stay behind after and I can talk to you about it because I'm raging as well. That, um, and what I thought should have been a four or five. You don't need to take it out in the scales, Maureen. <laughs> yeah. What should have been a four or five pound week for me wasn't to be either. But listen, at least you have maintained and you I, I know it's two weeks in a row but listen let's get you back next week let's get it moving let's get one pound off next week anyway all right uh, it's annoying isn't it neil i can feel for maureen there um you know three of the last four weeks i've had crap weeks and uh it's it's it, it's that when it feeds into how you're thinking mentally it can throw you completely off track can't it when you you start to think too much about rubbish numbers yeah absolutely and it, it it can be, especially weeks like you had where you exercise more than ever and so on. Of course, that gets frustrating because you're doing certainly the, the, the half of it really well. It, it invariably does come down to the food and even say for morning, it might be worth looking at sort of even photographing uh, meals just, just to make sure even though there's an accuracy with tracking them and things as well because it's very hard. It's actually hard to get an accurate measurement of what we're ultimately eating, you know, and uh, but once we do sort of track it well and kind of <coughs> gauge where at what point you do lose weight, what point you don't, we can we can adjust accordingly. Uh, and then of course there's the case of maybe not under eating as well. If it's thirteen, if it's under fourteen hundred calories, that's really low. That's sort of like nearly worryingly low. So that uh, possibly it's down to slightly under uh, valuing certain sort of uh, meals and things are under recording, but. Um, it's worth, like I say, maybe even just a, a photograph and times and things to see where the portions are, what they look like, and so on, because then I could probably help out a lot more with them with, with, um, figures. Okay, all right. Listen, thanks, Neil. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Gareth is going to come up next for Team Stuart on the way in today. Um, Gareth Massey of uh, Cumber. So you brought it back. Uh, did you? You didn't. Did you bring it back? No, you, you, you had a bad week last week as well, didn't you? Yeah, really bad week last week. Yeah, uh, do you want to talk about it? No, I'm, I'm okay. Have you had a better week this week? I suppose that's the important thing that we, we continually talk about on this show is that you you dust yourself down and you bring yourself back. Yeah, well, I felt that uh, after Saturday night's entertainment, my knees were sore, my back was sore, so I couldn't really walk as much as I could, but I tried, you know, the diet has been quite good this week, so here's hoping. All right, well, listen, let's find out. You were back up to 17-1 last week. 
Let's see if you've done enough then to shift it back down into the 16s. So good luck. Let's find out what your week 13 way is in on Slim for the Summer. Okay, so you're down three pounds. 16.12. How are you feeling with that? Happy to be back in that 16 category. Yeah, and now you're on my tail again. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get in front of you now. Good to keep it competitive, but no, three pounds for Team Stewart is very much appreciated. So we're going to take that for now. Uh, thank you. Well done to you. So we see you in a seven days, Gareth. Uh, Jenny shouting in, saying, well done, Gareth. Um, Linda Mather says, you can do this. Uh, Amory Hall says, you've all done so great. Good luck to you all. Uh, Declan shouting in for Maureen, wishing her luck too. Ashlyn, uh, good luck, everybody. Uh, and Sharon as well. Thanks for shouting in on the Facebook Live video today, Saturday afternoon. If you're watching live, you continue to leave your messages for us. We'll get to some of those through the next 20 minutes or so. Okay, we have Laura next for Team Stewart. Laura. Hutchison of Green Island, uh, big week last week then, uh, or not so much, but uh, you've, pull, you've pulled it back, haven't you? you got your head back in the game, Laura. Yeah, well, hoping for a loss today. Just remind us, a week ago it was, a one, was it one pound or? Two pound on last week. Two pound on, okay. So do you think over the last week you've managed to do enough to get back below where you were the week before that? I don't know about back where I was, but um, I'll definitely have the two pound off because it was really, really good food-wise, so. I haven't been exercising, though, because I was advised not to in hospital. So I've just been cleaning all week. So I don't know. OK, let's find out how you're getting on. Um, this is Laura Hutchison of Green Island. So she was 15 eights last week, today. You weigh in at 15-3. You've lost five pounds. My goodness. That's good, yeah. Halfway, yeah. I mean, you seem to be a little bit of a dark horse there. Were you, un were you underplaying that, that? You were just being cool? <laughs> no, I really wasn't. Um, cause one day I actually just couldn't eat. Um, I just didn't feel well whatsoever. So I was thinking, oh dear, this is going to really like impact it. So it's good, yeah. Amazing job. I'm so happy for you. You've lost now, what, two stone three pounds? Two stone five now. Two stone five, yeah. What am I now? Uh, you will... Two, oh, I've, I've forgotten. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. You're throwing me. What am I? You are... Uh, you were 15-3 you were there. Yeah, so that's two stone five now. Two stone five. I stand corrected. Well done to her. Two stone five is a good result. That's how much Laura's lost on Slim for the summer since the start of the year. She has got a big week. And again, probably now and again, you need a week like that, don't you, just to keep you going again after not getting the results you needed. Okay, next, Donard is going to come this way. Uh, this is Donard Mackerlain of Maherfelt. Um, and he was down to 21 stone a pound a week ago. Um, you're pushing at it. You've been close. Uh, some people have been telling me, De Team Deputy Dave, Captain Deputy Dave, was ha happy to, to report that there was some talk of you quitting this week. No, well, it was one of them just head staggers, but no, I'm not a quitter. So um, I thought... He wanted you to quit. You do know that. He wanted me to quit, but Dave, I'm not quitting. <laughs> I, I know he's watching, by the way. Good. So I'm coming to get you, Dave. Don't worry about it. Right, okay. Well, let's see if you can get a good number for Team Stewart this week till we put this lot back in their box. How are you feeling? Good, I'm back to exercise, so I've got the exercise back on the plate. I've been good food wise, so let's just hope the scales is kind to me. When was the last time in your life, Donner, you weighed in the 20 stone ranges? Because, of course, you've lost so much weight, over well over four stone now, haven't you? Yeah, uh, four stone four, I think. Um, but 20, on the 20 stones, I would say uh, roughly about 17 or 18, and I'm 34. So Half your life, basically, half your life. Well, let's see if today we can get a result in the scales that puts you in a position where you haven't been for not just half your life, but your entire adult life. This is the moment we find out how Donard's done. He was 21-1 a week ago. Today, you're weighing in on. Wow, 20 stone, seven pounds. You have lost eight pounds in a week. Ah, see, I, I'm like, I told you later on, I'm like, up, down, up, down. I'm just up and down mountains. Wow. I mean, that's inc this far in, over halfway into Slim for the summer. Big number like that. My God. 
Yeah, and it's with three stone, and I've overtaken you. Yeah, you have actually. That is over three stone now. I feel good. No, that's great. I think you've just broken every record on Slim for the summer, by the way. So you get that certificate today. You get all those certificates, okay? Yeah, no, I mean, as I say, I have a goal to the end, and I want to get there, but I maybe want to get there quicker than what I thought. So let's just keep going. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. That's amazing. And thank you on behalf of the team as well. It's a good result <laughs> for us. Can count in Donard's eight pounds. Amazing job. Well done, Tim. Uh, right, let's move it on. So it's just up to Bruna and Donna not to, not to mess it up now on us, okay? Um, how you how you feeling, Bruna? Awful. Great, okay. Oops, you're going to get wrecked. <laughs> okay, this is the this is the light side for the team now, is it? Yeah, I think so. All right, so not a good week then? Um, Not really, not really. I think I could do better, and I'm sort of disappointed now at this stage. When I was driving up, I felt, I thought, why did I not work harder? But I've... I've still, and I'm trying to pull out a positive. If I wasn't here, I would be like five stone on easy. So I have been still cautious, but maybe today not cautious enough. Okay, well, let's see how that's translated into the skills. You've been doing well, um, but uh, let's see how those last seven days have fared you up. Okay, so this is Bruna. She was 14 stone eight a week ago. You're doing well. You've lost over a stone so far in Slim for the summer. And you've lost another pound today. One pound. Okay, right. That's, I'm glad it's a loss, but now uh, I feel like I, I need to start getting into it more. Yeah, I mean, join the club. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, the one pound club. <laughs> that's okay. I'll take a pound. That's great. No, well, that's going the right direction, and that's now uh, one stone, two pounds off since you started. And it was the beer at the Giants did it, right? Which I had to buy, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm sore about that or anything. Uh, what do you think so far, Neil? Some great results there. Donard stand out. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, I couldn't remember. Was it last week Donard had a... It was a shaky week, was it? Yeah. And it just sort of shows he had, you know, when he was saying there, he's a wee bit up and down. Uh, but it, it just shows, you know, he is someone that exercises an awful lot, that it does obviously have an impact. Um, and I think he's just very good with his choices. But it, it seems to be both go hand in hand. When he's not training, he's a wee bit more relaxed on the other side of things. So... Uh, but a, a fantastic week and real inspiration to everyone. You know, it's and he's so focused as well, which is just one of his biggest strengths, I think. And just to, you can see, even when I'm talking to him up here, his face, he, he's hes really, his head's in the, absolutely the the right place, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And and that, that's a big part of it. You know, I've, I've had clients and things uh, come to me and they're not maybe in the right place mentally and you can't trigger them. And I've had to sort of say, well, go away and think about it basically and come back to me when you are. Because it does take that sort of, you have to be in the right place to give up on certain things and consistently do that for, for a, a period to get you to where you want to go. Then at that point, it's finding the balance. But uh, no, he's definitely he's very, very competitive, which is really helpful. <laughs> Certainly, when, yes, when you get to this stage on a weight loss journey, it is what we're finding, whether it's you know counting your steps and, and competing with somebody else or what we're doing with teams rivaling each other, it certainly all helps um, keep it uh, nice and competitive. Okay, let's uh, have one final way, and that's Donna Flynn from Belfast. Donna has also been a big performer on Slim for the summer. Uh, just a week ago, you were down to 50. 10, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, he's calling you names. Well, Team Deputy Dave will do that when they're up against it. Don't you worry about them scoundrels over there, okay? <laughs> Sheesh. What's he, what's he shouting over? I may have had a few drinks off. Yes, yes. Oh, yesterday. Right, no, okay. As well, right. My goodness. Really? Well, what do you mean as well? It's not a daily occurrence then, no. Okay, that's good. So you've had a, you had a few drinks off... Yeah, I had a few vodkas last night. Uh, the weather and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, it was too nice. It was my mum's fault. Right. Her and my daddy paid for it, so. But apart from that last <laughs> night, has it has it been a good week? Um, I haven't I haven't been feeling great, so I haven't been doing any um exercise. Um, I my iron and my blood level are extremely low, so I haven't been doing much. So this week I've tried to redo my, my eating um a lot more sort of protein and staying away from the bread and sort of we'll see how it goes yeah yeah right let's find out 15 10 a week ago final weigh in on slim for the summer today for my team is donna 15 10 on the last weigh in and today for team stewart she is giving me a deficit 
of five pounds. Lost five pounds. Really? Really. <laughs> I'm over the moon with that. So cutting out the carbs then has clearly helped here. I haven't cut out carbs completely. I've had baked potatoes and I've had rice and things like that, but no, I'm 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 over the moon with that. You should be over the moon. That's probably one of your biggest weeks, actually. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Interesting, Neil, isn't it? How just sort of mixing up the food and changing the food around a bit has has actually really worked for Donna this week. Yeah, I mean, that's somebody saying the smirn off diet. Of course, we don't advocate that. But it show, shows you can sort of get away with a couple wee things. I know if the food was fantastic, clearly, and that, that's illustrated in the weight loss. And then there was like a wee night of having a couple of drinks. But um, so there's, you know, extra calories that might be sort of added to the week ultimately. But it was what was done the rest of the week that obviously paid off. And uh, food is and always will be the most important aspect of, of a weight loss campaign. So even on the, the weeks that you can't maybe exercise, not losing heart and just being, well, I'll be really focused with the food, as you did. So that's brilliant. Brilliant job. Well done to you. We'll see you in a week. So five pounds off for Donna. A few final shout-outs on the show today. Nolan Huron wishing us all well. Thanks for that. Katrina Brennan, cheers for shouting in. Elaine, good to hear from you as well. And Jenny, thank you for shouting in on the Facebook Live video. We appreciate all the comments, all the likes and shares we get. You know, thousands of you watching our uh, Facebook video every week uh, for Slim for the Summer, hopefully inspiring the lives of people across Northern Ireland to make those little tweaks and start to shed the pounds as we now push ever closer to the summer. Right, one last piece of business to do, of course, is the winning team. Would anybody like to guess the winning team is today? Smirnoff. <laughs> um, okay, so just a reminder then, uh, Deputy Dave's team, and I know he's watching, he's not here this week, he's feeding his face on chicken wings and Hooters in Nottingham, by the way. That's actually where he is right now, um, which is, there's a, there's a Hooters in Nottingham. There is, so all the ears of everyone in here, oh, there's a Hooters over there. Just watch those flights to Nottingham go through the roof from Belfast now. There is a Hooters in Nottingham, and if you're into your chicken wings, it's very good, among other things. Among, and the wings are lovely. Um, okay, so 1.8% was their body weight loss uh, for Team Deputy Dave. Uh, team Stuart lost more weight this week, clearly. Uh, we lost twice as much in our team, but there were more people in the team. We lost 18 pounds combined. We've worked that out then against the seven weighing in team members, and that gives us an average percentage of body weight for this week of 3.9% off. All right? That's absolutely wrong, by the way. Um, <laughs> so I have, uh, I, just to, to confirm, uh, here is the actual results, okay? 1.8%. Thank you for giving it a go over there, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> I'll stick to the mathematics here. Um, one point, <laughs> uh, one point eight percent. So well done. Still a good loss for Team Deputy Dave. Uh, but you guys busted it this week. Give them a big round of applause. My team. That's us level now. One apiece with three point nine percent off. Um, I don't know what that was on the uh, the board there, but uh, but it was uh, it did it looked a bit. Um, I think it was the same sort of idea anyway. We won, basically. Right. Okay. We won. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, we're back for the 14th week of Slim for the Summer next week. And I uh, suppose my big challenge for the week ahead now, Neil, is I'm going away for a few days this week. I've got a press trip I'm going on to. I was looking through the itinerary, uh, and part of the itinerary, wherever they're sending me off to, is a six course. No, it's not Hooters. It's a six course dinner. Um, I mean, again, the, these are the, the challenges, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to have to plan well that day, so you'll probably eat, it, eat nice and light the rest of the day. And you're... A six-course dinner? I don't know. Like that is enough for probably six of us, isn't it? So I've got that to, <laughs> to look forward to. Anyway, we'll see you back seven days from now for more Slim for the Summer. Beautiful day out there. Uh, no ex... Let me hear that. <laughs> thank you for thank you for that, Don. <laughs> yeah, not that we're bragging or anything. We'll see you back in a week for more Slim for the Summer. Yeah, it's a brilliant day. Get outside, do some exercise, and uh, we'll see you one week from now. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>